As a tool for packaging design and visualization, Modo has a proven track record over many years. Its powerful integrated modeling and rendering toolset provides a comfortable environment within which to design and visualize new ideas and contextualize artwork. The power of Modo's polygon modeling tools allow you to approach shape creation in lots of different ways, allowing for a wide variety of techniques to be utilized based on the ultimate goal of the project. For fast concept work, simple primitive shapes can be quickly deformed and adjusted, and additional details like bevels and fillets added. Curves can be brought in from Illustrator, or simply created in Modo. These can then act as starting points for extrusions or sweeps, and Modo's Thicken tool allows you to quickly shell an object to a desired distance. Modo's Pack Kit is a collection of mesh presets, components and utilities that accelerate the modeling process by allowing you to load models that can act as starting points for new concepts. This kit takes advantage of Modo's preset system that allows you to save and reuse any kind of asset. For fast, non-destructive shape exploration, Mesh Fusion allows you to bring mesh objects together in a live boolean with interactive filleting. In a Mesh Fusion object, any change made to either the geometry active in the boolean or any change made to the way in which the objects are interacting will result in a live update, giving you instant feedback. It's particularly useful for cutting holes in boxes, adding complex details to bottles, or for developing blister packs or even moulds. Modo's integrated sculpting tools allow for another approach. These enable you to develop a surface as if it's made from clay, allowing for complex forms and organic freeform shapes to be visualised at incredible speed. Modo's subdivision surface modelling tools are universally recognised, and not only provide you with the ability to develop ideas quickly, but also the ability to develop incredibly complex and realistic models if required. This flexibility of approach within one application is what makes modelling in Modo so compelling. But modelling is only half the story. The application of artwork and the presentation of an idea is equally important, and Modo has a comprehensive range of tools to help you achieve this. In order for you to fully utilise your artwork, Modo supports a wide range of image formats, including PSD and SVG. Modo will also recognise when a loaded image is changed on disk and reload it, creating a bridge between your 3D scene and any 2D application you might be running. In order to effectively wrap a 2D image around a 3D object, UV maps must be used, and Modo has a wide variety of tools for creating them, including projecting from a viewport and full mesh unwrapping. It's important to realise that just like modelling, you can approach UVing in different ways depending on what you want to achieve. If you're visualising an existing product with artwork that is defined by a cutter, like a box, then UVs can be defined to match the cutter in its unfolded state. When the box is then folded, any artwork will wrap perfectly. Alternatively, if you're in the process of designing a package, then no fixed cutter will exist. In this situation, you can use UVs to experiment with graphic placement sliding artwork across a model by moving and scaling the defined UVs. With your artwork in place, Modo's physically accurate shading system then allows you to define incredibly realistic materials from a set of defined parameters. It's a system that allows for unlimited experimentation, with settings that help you to define anything from metal to chocolate. Materials can then be saved as presets to build up a library of materials that can be easily reused with Modo's drag and drop preset system. When a preset is dragged from the browser onto a model, the material is applied. And one interesting feature of this is the ability to drop presets onto hidden materials, helping you to define materials that exist behind transparent objects, for example liquid inside a bottle. Modo's layer-based shading system shares many similarities with layer-based systems found in 2D applications. Layers can be stacked on top of each other and blended together using opacity changes and blending modes. Layers can also mask other layers, or even whole groups of layers, allowing you to quickly experiment with how those layers are interacting with each other. The key component in this system is Modo's interactive preview renderer that gives you constant visual feedback of any change that you make to the scene. This, along with its ability to save images, select materials by clicking on the image, and most importantly its ability to help you analyse how an image is being constructed, makes it the main reason why developing a project in Modo is such an interconnected and holistic experience. Modo can be viewed as a virtual photo studio. You can light your scene with HDRI images, direct lights and even geometry lights, allowing for complete control and customization of lighting setups. And like other aspects of the preset system, lighting setups can be stored as assemblies and reused on other projects. 
Using Modo's production renderer, you're also able to break your image into easily editable outputs. And when saved as a layered PSD file, these outputs or layers can be adjusted, allowing for complete control of the image in post. Modo's renderer is also able to generate images that are directly editable inside Colorway. This allows you to do quick iteration of lighting and also visualize multiple variants of a product and artwork at incredible speed using live source files. But Modo is much more than a point-and-shoot virtual studio. The breadth and depth of the tools available to you allow you to go outside of the studio and visualize a product in any kind of context. For example, replicators could help you visualize a product on a shelf in a store, or dynamic elements can help you to visualize the natural distribution of a package's contents. The possibilities are endless.